When I get a request to mod a Game Boy, the two I most commonly hear are to upgrade the screen and to add a rechargeable battery. This video will explain how to install a rechargeable battery kit in a Game Boy Color. There's a few of these kits available on the market. This one's made by Funny Playing and utilizes the Game Boy's original power port. It comes with a USB to Game Boy wire, two wires for soldering, the board, and a 3.7 volt battery. Now my battery arrived with a few dents in it, which is a little concerning because you don't want to puncture one of these, but it's all all right, nothing happened. I started by adding a little bit of solder onto the pins of the original power board. We'll only be soldering the top and bottom pins on the left and the bottom pin on the right, so you'll only need to add some solder to these points. With those done, we're also going to add a little bit of solder to the pads here on the battery's power board. This is going to make soldering into the Game Boy a little bit easier. Place the battery board on top of those pins that we had already pre-tinned. Our goal here is to try to merge the solder point on the battery board to the solder point on the main board. Using your soldering iron, you're going to add a little bit of heat to those pads and hopefully flow through to the bottom pins. Essentially, you're merging the solder point between the battery board and the original power board. Now it's definitely easier said than done. You might have to get a little more solder and add it in between the two boards to try to merge those two together. Now I'm not sure if it's usually this difficult to bridge these two points together. However, I upgraded my capacitor here so it's a little bit bigger than the original one. That could be causing my problem, I'm not too sure. I was able to sneak my soldering iron in in between the two boards to really heat up that point to try to merge the two solder blobs and this ended up being the key that helped me do it. Now I had a lot of difficulty soldering those two points together. Eventually I was able to get it, but I was thinking if I couldn't, what I was going to do is just drop a little tiny wire in there and solder it together, and then try to add a little more solder to kind of strengthen up that wire, if you know what I mean. Maybe like rebarb and concrete or a popsicle stick in a popsicle, that kind of idea. Now, I'm sure that would have worked. However, let me know in the comments if you think that's a bad idea. Once you have it all soldered on, check continuity on the top and the bottom of the two boards to ensure that all three points are connected. I also pushed around the board to ensure that those solder connections are solid and wouldn't break. Next, we'll need to remove the F1 fuse. I did this by heating up both sides of the fuse with my soldering iron. You might have to go back and forth once or twice, but it eventually pops right out. With the fuse removed, I'm going to add solder blobs to those two pads. Then you'll need to add solder blobs to the in and the out pads on top of the battery board. With the solder blobs added, we can easily solder on this wire. Just push a wire into liquid solder, then let it harden. You'll be soldering one wire on the inside points and then the next wire on the outside points or the pad closest to the F on the out pad and then the pad closest to the one on the in pad. We'll start by removing the battery terminals in the back of the Game Boy. There's a little tongue that you just need to depress to push it right out. I trimmed a few millimeters off the back support here just to fit the battery board. Again, this might be because I have that bigger capacitor which is holding the board further off my main board. We'll need to make room for the new LiPo battery. I used a pair of flush cutters, but you can also use a Dremel, and if you're very careful, you can also use a crafting knife. You'll need to remove the entire tongue that separates your two AA batteries to ensure that the new LiPo battery fits. To check your work, put the battery in and try to close the door. If it doesn't close, don't force it, just keep cutting. Once your battery fits, you're gonna thread the wire into the back of the shell. You can do this a few ways. You can thread it through the original terminal holes here and thread it around to the battery board, or you could feed it through the center hole just under the latch for the door. If you do this, however, you'll have to cut out a little wedge so you don't crush your wires. With it threaded through the top board, plug it into the battery board by pushing it down on the connector. And once that's done, you can reassemble it. You should have a functional Game Boy. I charged mine for a few minutes before testing just to be sure the battery wasn't flat, then tested. There we go, now we have a rechargeable Game Boy Color. Now I'm gonna recommend that you don't just watch this video or any one video when you're trying to do a new mod or anything like that. Try to look at some other videos to get some other ideas, see if somebody does something simpler, maybe I did something wrong. Look on forums, ask questions, do everything you can before tackling your project. 
I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider hitting the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Now, if my other videos are restoration videos, I also have some more how-to videos, so be sure to go check those out. And as always, let's save the consoles. Take care. Thank you.